good. Trail magic at Moody Gap. <laughs> nice, nice surprise. Thank you guys. This is from the South Carolina Hiking Club in North Carolina. Hey, very nice. Now she's just fat because I let her be that way. Oh wow, I think the views are getting better and better. This is in um, North Carolina, beautiful, very beautiful. And somebody told me that um, they'll get better. You know, it really is about the journey and not the destination. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll check you guys later. Yeah, um, these parts are like, like that. <sighs> Those are pretty scary. I just have to go very, very, very slow. Some of the best advice I could give anybody is when you're hiking and you come across a slower hiker, such as myself, uh, don't rush up on the back, back heels and then say something, especially when you're on the side of a cliff, because you tend to get in your own head when you're hiking. And when you scare somebody, it kind of throws them off balance. So please, anybody hiking, don't rush up on somebody and then say something. Stay several feet back and say something first um, so it doesn't kind of startle them. It's starting to warm up. It's March 20, no, March 30th. I'm on my way up around Albert Mountain. There's a big tower up top, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not because it's pretty much straight up on the side trail. Um, you know, there's so many good people out here on this trail magic and they do it every year. The North Carolina, no, the South Carolina Hiking Club had a trail magic for us down there. They were very nice people. Um, Really, really was touching. Um, there was a man, one of the men there was lightning, Melvin Lightning Man. He was struck, struck by lightning 12 times. That, that's, that's wow, that's a, that's a lot. He was very sweet, he kind of snuck me some hot chocolate, um, a lot. And he gave me a, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. Well, I'll, I'll just do it like that. Where is it, oh. He gave me a pocket knife. He said, well, you're a woman on the trail. You need this. And I go, oh, well, thank you. And it's it's very, very sharp. Very sharp. So that was very sweet. Very sweet of him. I had hot dogs and chips and potato salad and a lot of good food for the energy on the way up. I took, I took banana for my snack right now. But uh, a lot of good people. It really makes you appreciate the people you run into in all these places. It's, it is really, really, really more about the journey. Who cares about the destination? I'll get there eventually. But I'm gonna take my time and um, enjoy the, the scenery, the people. Everything that God's given us on this earth is beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful. I'll check it out. I actually, you know, these these things really make me, you know, thinking about this, it makes me feel emotional. I apologize. It, it, it's very emotional. You know, when you come out here and you see all this all this stuff and meet all these people. But um I'm gonna have my bananas, my snack, and I'm gonna keep on going. Check you later. This is birthday girl and friendship giving us some more trail magic. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Has a nice fire, very nice fire. Thank you, birthday girl and friendship. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Woo, going up to around Albert Mountain. Ooh, Tracy, this reminds me of old, our old rock climbing days. Woo. I think there's more to come. All right. I made it to the top. I don't think I'm gonna go up the fire tower though. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go down. <sighs> Beautiful view up here at Albert Mountain. There's a fire tower right up there. I don't know if you can see it, but the views are beautiful. All right, I'm gonna turn it around and let you see the view.
warm. It's supposed to get down to 40 and then freeze tomorrow night. Um, the next time somebody asks me how many miles I've done today, I'm going to say three. I mean, what's the big deal? I'm going to do is, I want to get there eventually. But that's, that's a big deal. How late is your pack and how many miles have you done today? To me, it don't matter. I'm, I'm here for more for the journey. I don't care how many miles I get. I'll get my miles in in good time. So, um, this was something else that Lightning Merlin gave me. <laughs> he says, hey, give this just to one of those guys down there if they're needing some uh, some uh, snuff. I said, oh, okay. That was sweet, I think. But he, he's the one that gave me that knife. Really a, really a, really a cool, cool dude. Um, it's real sweet. So, I'm going to get my tent organized and uh, it's kind of a mess and my plan to stay on the shelter didn't work when I got there there's a bunch of a lot of Cub Scouts but uh, I'd rather be in my own tent and have privacy I didn't put the cover on tonight because it's supposed to rain and I have a nylon cover which kind of defeats the purpose of the lightweight tent but uh, but it gives me more privacy and keeps the light out but I'm not gonna put it on there now because if, when it rains this will just repel the water off and it won't soak any in and that way I won't be when I get up in the morning I won't have to um, um, carry the weight of water on my tent so I'm gonna get going for get my stuff together and just kind of chill out for a little bit check out later